Hi, Anavi Fume Extractor is a smart, open source hardware solder smoke absorber for makers. It comes as a do it yourself kit, and in this video, you see the exact steps how to assemble it. The whole process includes 9 steps and takes up to 30 or 40 minutes. Step number 1 Peel off the protective films from both sides of all 4 acrylic enclosures. Peeling off these protective films can be a little bit annoying. After removing them from both sides, you see that each acrylic enclosure is cleared and transparent. Step number 2. Attach the printed circuit board of Anavi Fume Extractor to the bottom acrylic enclosure using 4 screws and 8 nuts. Please pay attention that there are nuts below and above the board. Step number 3. Mount the mini I2C OLED display to the front acrylic enclosures using 4 M2 screws, appropriate nuts and washers. The mini OLED display is very fragile, so please be extra careful. Do not fasten it too tight. I repeat, please do not fasten too tight the mini OLED display because otherwise it might break. Step number 4. Mount the 80mm fan filter. Use the 4 M4 long screws and 4 of the M4 nuts. The filter should be placed between them. Each kit includes two filters. Mount only one of them and keep the other one as a replacement. It is highly recommended to replace these filters over the time. They are consumables and they can be easily found through various distributors. In long term, when you are buying replacements, it is up to you to decide whether to get a HEPA or a carbon filter. Step number 5. Add the 80mm 5V DC fan. First, add the special acrylic enclosure on top of the fan filter. After that, have a look at the side of the fan to notice the direction of the air flow. Place the fan in a way that it takes the air through the fan filter. Finally, fasten the fan to its appropriate location using the four M4 standoffs. Step number 6 is optional only for the owners of a developer kit of Anavi Fume Extractor. Mount the BH7050 I2C light sensor to the front acrylic enclosure. As shown in the video, you need one M2.5 screw and a nut. Step number 7. Attach peripherals to Anavi Fume Extractor printed circuit board. Connect the mini I2C OLED display and the 80mm fan to the dedicated slots on the printed circuit board. Please note the exact labeling and make sure you are properly wiring them. Pay extra attention to the labels for connecting the OLED display. The connector for the fan is white and can be easily identified on the board. Step number 8. The owners of advanced and developer kits should connect the rest of the sensors. There is a dedicated slot for the MQ135 general air quality sensor, as well as I2C slots for the other sensors for temperature and humidity, as well as barometric pressure. Carefully have a look at the labels on the printed circuit board and ensure that you are connecting the wires in an appropriate way to the dedicated slots. Each of the I2C sensor modules has four wires, one for voltage in, one for ground, one for data and one for clock. If any of the peripherals and specifically the I2C devices such as the sensor modules and the mini OLED display are not properly connected, the board will not work and it might not boot at all. The last step, step number 9, is to assemble the acrylic enclosures and to fasten them with 4 M4 nuts on the back of Anavi Fume Extractor. One more thing, on the right side of the printed circuit board, 
there is a jumper for the Wi-Fi. By default, it is set to off. Congratulations! You have successfully assembled Anavi Film Extractor and now you can turn it on by plugging a micro USB cable in the dedicated connector on the printed circuit board. The board will automatically turn on the fan and will show you a message on the Mini I2C display. If you don't see the message or the board doesn't turn on, as a first step in the troubleshooting, make sure that all peripheral devices are properly connected to the appropriate slots on the printed circuit board. On the right side of the printed circuit board, you will notice a button with a label fan switch. Press it to turn on and off the 80mm fan. Furthermore, you can set the Wi-Fi jumper to on, reboot the board and connect Anavi Fume Extractor via MQTT to popular open source IoT platforms such as Home Assistant. This will allow you to gather sensor data and to turn on and off Anavi Fume Extractor from your smartphone, personal computer or tablet. Here is a quick demonstration of Anavi Fume Extractor on my desk while I'm soldering. While using the MQ135 analog gas sensor for the very first time, you need to perform the so-called burn-in procedure, which means to leave the sensor working for 24 hours in a clean room. This procedure has to be done only once. After that, each time when you turn on Anavi Film Extractor, the MQ135 gas sensor will need a couple of minutes to self-calibrate before starting to show proper data about the air quality. Thank you for watching this video and for using Anavi Film Extractor. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me or to write a comment below. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new exciting videos about open source.